Now, let's look at two ways of doing this problem. Let's think of one way, which is dumb, and let's actually do one more way, which is like a bit smarter. The first method that obviously everyone's gonna try and do is use the a plus b whole cubed identity. So a cubed plus three a squared b plus three a b squared plus b cubed. But that's not necessarily the smartest thing to do here because this is basically just power rule. So taking another pen, let us just integrate this as usual and add the bounds and evaluate. Okay, so it's not a hard problem at all. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not supposed to integrate first. We're supposed to simplify this first under the integral. So that's just going to be, hey, no. We are supposed to integrate. How stupid was I? It's going to be 3 to the power 3. And then you're going to bring that power 3 to the bottom 2. And you're going to multiply by A, the coefficient in front of the constant. Okay? This only applies to linear property. So if this was 2x squared, it's not going to work. Bad luck. Now, and let's add in the bounds. 2 and 1. Okay? And how do I go about solving most of these questions well look the best way to solve most of these questions in my opinion is to put them on your calculator go click on the function button and then define fx okay it's much faster and it's much easier too so let's put in our function which was 1 plus 2x whole cubed over 3 Oh, 6, okay, because it was 3 times 2. And now we go click on fx, and we can just substitute in what we want. Let's say we want 2, 125 on 6. So, we go put 125 on 6, minus, we just sub in 1 again, 9 on 2. And now that's equal to, well, 125 on 6 minus it's equal to 49 